Hi everyone, it's Liz, the Frugal Libertarian. Um, so this, if you read my, if you read my blog post, if not, the link will be in the description. Um, this is my gift binder, and if I apologize for the cheesy drawing, I have absolutely zero artistic skill when it comes to drawing things. Uh, so this was my attempt to make like, make it look like a gift. Um, but it's a regular standard binder. So I have these different sections. There's this month next month, upcoming, Christmas, and archive. So what happens is every uh, month I go through, and this actually allows me not to just be focusing on, oh, and so-and-so's birthday is coming up in a, in a week or two, I gotta go get a gift. I can actually plan gifts well in advance, even a year in advance if need be. I do my holiday shopping all year round. And this binder allows me to keep track of it and to make sure I don't buy things, um, buy doubles of things, don't get this person the same thing year after year, you know, um, so I don't duplicate and I know what I have so I can kind of keep my budget down because I'm not going to be running at the last minute to buy something and spending a fortune on it because it's the last minute. So this is just extra paper. Um, I want to say a word about the binder itself. You can see I like this reinforced lined paper, this reinforced binder paper. Um, I think this is actually the last of it. Uh, so then I'll be reinforcing just with the little round stickers that go around the hole. But I prefer this. I had got a really good deal on it a few years ago and stocked up and then now I think I'm at the limit. So I'm going to be going back to regular paper, which I'm actually kind of dreading. but. Uh, Oh well, that's what it is. Keep in mind, I have put fake things in this month, next month, and the first month in upcoming because, of course, I've got this month, next month kind of planned out or shopped um, or even given away already. Um, given away, I don't care as much because they know what they're getting, but the people who haven't received their gifts yet, like coming up in next month or in the upcoming, next upcoming month, I don't want them to see this and be like, oh... So that's what you're getting me. So I've created some fake pages for you. So this is October 2016. I write it at the top and then I write each person I'm buying for, I run write their name down. And then I put either what I'm going to get them or what I've already gotten them. And so what I do, and I've kind of done an example here already. If especially if it's an I haven't bought this yet it will get a check at the end once it's purchased and then it gets another check once it's wrapped and if you go down the page you'll see anniversary i used to, i used to do separate pages for anniversaries and for birthdays like anniversaries events and birthdays that took up way too much paper and wasted paper um because we you know rarely we have i think there's one month we have like three anniversaries in it but that's it so having individual pages for that ended up just being a waste so i started combining them but you can see here i've written anniversary and then the names of the people and then the gift they're getting or that there are like i said in this case it's that they're going to get so now i'm going to next month november 2016 so I've done the same thing. Three names. By the way, Henry is our dog. Um, and his birthday is in August. Or at least we celebrated in August. Because we don't know when it exactly was, but it definitely was not November. But I just threw his name in there for fun. So you can see again the name. Now I've decided to get Reginald a blue striped tie. Mag. Clearly I haven't bought it yet. It's not checked off. Same thing with him. He's getting Millennium Falcon cufflinks. Which is also kind of a little secret play here because my husband actually owns Millennium Falcon cufflinks. So, haha. <laughs> and then Esmeralda would get a pair of Onyx earrings. So once I would get these items, I would check them off. And once they're wrapped, they get checked off here. That way they're ready to go to the person who's going to get them. So now upcoming. Now notice I'm going another month ahead. December 2016. I have three people. Now notice here, Rick is not filled out. That's because I either haven't thought of something to get them or haven't purchased something to get them yet. Um, and because again, these are hypothetical uh, pages. These are just example pages. So I've kind of had a little bit of liberty to um, play with them a little bit. But yeah, so Rick, we haven't decided what to get yet, so it's blank. And once we decide, then we'd write it in again, check it off once we get it, and then check it off once it's wrapped or given in some cases. I would go, you know what, I can show you February. As I say, I don't think, now this is our actual list for February 
2017. So that's how I do birthdays. So I'm going to go to Christmas and what I did here, because clearly I can't show you Christmas 2016 because it's coming up. I've been filling it out all year and I can't do that. So um, that I'm not going to do. Sometimes when I purchase an item, I don't necessarily check off that it's purchased. Usually when I'm thinking about it, I put I check it off. But you can see here from 15, I wasn't too great about it, but I did check off when I wrapped people's stuff. And you can see I got really specific. Like our niece, her name is Gigi, and I've seen now, this is the second um, of the God's Little Princess Gigi series books. Now, I try to get this specific with the titles of books because um, this year caused a giant panic. I knew I'd gotten her another uh, God's Little Princess Gigi book, but I could not remember the specific name of it. And in my Christmas, it was either 2014 or 2013, I can't remember which, um, I wrote down just God's Little Princess Gigi, and that was all I wrote. And I panicked, and I had to call my sister-in-law and ask her to go and look and tell me what the title of the book was, which she did. It wasn't a problem. Um, but that's the reason I'm getting, I've been getting so much more specific because, especially with books, because I want to make sure I know exactly what book it is. So again, you can see I've done all of, because this is from last year, everything's filled out. We have our Secret Santa stuff in here. Um, do we? Yep, there's Secret Santa, Rick and Secret Santa Teresa, and then other friends that I buy gifts for. But I do this so far ahead of time. I do this actually a year in advance where I kind of guess at who we're going to be giving gifts to that year. Gift giving changes from year to year. Um, somebody might say, hey, I don't want a gift for my birthday. I'd rather be taken out to dinner or something like that. And then that wouldn't end up here. This is a really super important tab. This is my archive. So you can see the very first month I ever did my binder was July 2013 and those were the birthdays and those were the gifts and you can see I was really good about crossing off once I purchased them um, there and you can see actually here this is why I tend to use pencil more than pen this is my sister-in-law and I originally I wrote down my idea was to get her jewelry I wrote down to check Etsy and then I crossed it out because I bought her this very specific necklace and I remember exactly which necklace it was. So this archive has been invaluable because like I said, you can make sure you don't duplicate the same gift two years in a row. You know, if you get that sinking feeling like, did I give this to you already? You can actually go back and look and see if they did. Now the last thing in the binder is this big poly envelope that is for gift receipts. See that's where it's got a nice little tag, gift receipts. Usually though during Christmas this envelope will fill up because then I'm as I'm doing more and more Christmas shopping that as at traditional stores and within a period where something actually could be returned then the receipts go in here but this way I have them all in one place. So that's in the back. Now this is just a regular binder ring poly envelope that I got at Dollar Tree. And I use these in a couple other places. And likewise, the um, manila dividers are from Dollar Tree. Um, the binder, you're going to see in other videos that I use a lot of these purple binders. We had a business that didn't work out. And part of the supplies from that business, we bought cases of these purple binders. And when the business didn't work, they ended up just sitting in our garage. And so whenever somebody we know needs a binder, or when we need a binder, we just run out and grab one out of the case because we already have them. So it doesn't cost us anything to go and grab it. But yeah, most of this is from the dollar store. Like I said, the paper I got a really good deal on, probably from Target or Staples a few years ago in the um, school shopping section. Now, one of the things I'm going to give advice about... Um, because I know there's a lot of people that don't like these kind of tabs. Normally I don't either because the little card inside sometimes, especially as I get older, will slide out. Now, I got these at Dollar Tree and so far they have not slid out. Um, and I've had this binder for over three years and it hasn't slid out. My tip to you is if you can only afford the Dollar Tree ones, but you're worried about it slipping out, is to add a little bit of scotch tape to each side, just a teeny tiny piece, and that will hold the label in the tab, and then it won't fall out. And it takes a little bit of extra time, 
but it's something you can do so that you have your tabs, you can still buy them at the dollar store, and then you know they're not going to fall out. Anyway, this was my gifts binder. I don't remember why I started it. What was funny is that I told my mom some point recently that I was doing this, and she told me, oh, when I was younger, when me and your father, I think, were first married or first had kids or whatever, I had one like that too. And then, you know, I stopped using it as I got older. And I thought that's so funny that both of us would have the same exact idea for how to track gifts. And so I think it's kind of funny that, um, I mean, that was before I was born. So it's not like I saw her using it, but we both had the same generalized idea. I can't imagine not having the binder because I've, it's become so invaluable for me for gift giving, um, for making sure I'm staying on budget with gift giving, being able to give nicer gifts that cost less because I'm able to buy them in advance and kind of hold on to them. And this way I know what I have. I'm not buying a second gift for somebody because I've forgotten that I already bought them something. Um, I'm also, again, not duplicating gifts. I'm not giving the same thing year after year because I know what I gave them last year. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, again, I apologize. My voice is a little bit unhappy because um, I am not feeling well. And I apologize for my poor art skills. I will see you next time. And again, this was Liz, the Frugal Libertarian from the blog FrugalLibertarian.com. Please check it out. You can subscribe um, to receive no notices and updates um, when my blog posts come up. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel and you'll receive updates there. If you've enjoyed this video and it's the first video you're seeing from me, please hit like, please subscribe. I appreciate you all and I will talk to you soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.